Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm gonna do an EDC update for the month of August. Don't think I've done August, pretty sure I did July. Um, it's been an absolutely crazy time lately. Um, I always hate when people say, oh, it's been crazy, oh, I'm so busy, I can't do this, can't do that. It really bothers me. It just to me, it feels like excuses because I'm always able to get everything done. Um, but it has been absolutely crazy lately. Uh, we bought a house. We have settlement next month. We're selling our house. So we're getting it ready right now. Uh, we have a photographer coming Wednesday. Uh, today's Saturday. And we're trying to clear everything out. So we we're cleaning out my sort of section of the room, our bedroom, which is my studio, my office, everything. And uh, we move shit around and just like getting rid of stuff and packing shit up. And it's just a lot of work. And then obviously the whole other rest of the house, we're cleaning out our basement, uh, putting all the stuff we want to keep. It's a lot of baby stuff because we're trying for another baby as well. And like, if we have another girl, we figure we have clothes. Like, why would we get rid of it? So a lot of that stuff's going into a pod we rented. So we have a pod in our freaking parking spot behind the house, filling that up. So then we have space to put our stuff when the photographer and the showings happen. Anyway, luckily the market is crazy. I pray that uh, that continues and we just have maybe three days where we have to show the house, open house, and then we get offers and we're done, hopefully. Um, it doesn't drag on and we have to wait because um, then you gotta keep worrying about showings and moving all your shit out. And So um, yeah, it's been crazy. Um, and I will admit the content has definitely gone down. I mean, I barely post on Instagram lately. I'm not posting shorts. I've been able to keep up with two videos a day on the channel just because I get stuff in and I really enjoy making videos. Like. I think a lot of people see channels a lot of times as work and you know we're just trying to make money or something i truly love this it's a passion that i have and i try to really balance that and right now i just don't have as much time and focus on it and that's okay right i'm just letting it organically it's just happening the way it's happening i'm not going to force things um, because that's when you make shitty content uh, like this video <laughs> Uh, and you know, so anyway, that's a little bit of what's going on. I, you know, I had to cancel a live stream last week. I don't know what'll happen this coming week. Um, I want to be on live with you guys. I want to be interacting. I love that more than anything. Um, but I also have to take care of my family and get this house situated. But the absolutely fantastic news about the whole thing is that I'm going to have my own office slash studio uh, in the house, we got a four bedroom. Uh, we have a full basement. It's not finished, but it's a full basement uh, concrete. It's set to be finished. It has all the metal fittings up. So we may do that at some point. I have a two car garage uh, attached, which is gonna be great. Um, so I have a lot of space to do knife stuff, QC, Devo stuff, you know, shoot videos, do a lot of things. Uh, the yard is, it's a decent size. It's way bigger than what we have now, but it's not like wooded or, like super secluded. So I don't know if I'm gonna be out there like tomahawk and shit, but I might, uh, I wanna do more stuff like that. Um, so I'm hoping the content will slowly get better as I, you know, get the equipment and get it all set up in the studio and just have, you know, just a better situation. Cause right now, you know, my studio is in my bedroom corner it's also my office for my day job, which I still work a day job and that's not going anywhere with a new house or tripling our mortgage. So, you know, just a lot of shit. And um, yeah, so hang in there with me guys. I love you, I appreciate you. Um, uh, so the EDC update, um, I have the usual. I have my uh, CWF Micro Arcadian uh, Micro Click 15 and 100 setting, love it. Just literally lives in my pocket um, i did rock a uh olight i5r eos for a week or so and i rocked a rovivon e5 for a week or so this past month 
because um, they came in for review and both of those are fantastic lights through night saber came in that's a good one just some really good offerings for stupid affordable prices these days so check those out if you don't want to spend 500 bucks you know um in my front left pocket i have the asher knives uh nomad this is the titanium nomad in m390 this is one of the best knives that has ever been made um, it truly is just a masterpiece. I think it was right at $100 from Justin over at Asher. It is as thin, if not thinner, than a bug out. I mean, it is stupid thin. The detent is absolutely perfect. Reverse flick is money. Uh, action, just stupid. I mean, it's silly how good this knife is. Dead nut centered. Um, I have no play, no rock excellent action and yeah stupid thin m390 blade cuts like a demon um this is the best knife asher has ever come out with um i do love the new spiro liner lock contour g10 with the hole um, but this one still takes top spot lefty carry deep carry clip just man this thing is solid and i, I was getting ready to leave the house my pants that I'm wearing or shorts that I'm wearing have a little bit of a thicker seam because they have a double seam for like a knife pocket thing. And, um, you know, some of my, like the Scout F3 I've been rocking just doesn't fit in there really well with the clip being tight. That's the one downside with milled clips. They can't be, they can't be tight and yet fit over thicker pants where like a budget clip like this, a spring clip or whatever, can be really tight but also pop over a thick pair of jeans a wire clip can do that excellently um so love this thing also quick plug uh we are doing a pre-order for the devo knives stout v2 that is coming up on august 12th at 1 p.m eastern um, we would really appreciate if you guys pick one up. We're trying to make it super affordable, 325 on pre-order in Vanek, super clean with fat carbon, all the trimmings, milled clip. It's gonna also be able to work with wire clip and you'll get one as a backup. Um, so we're really excited about the Stout V2 and the pre-order is next week or whenever this posts. It's August 12th at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, so check that out, support us, we appreciate it. I got a Northwoods Leatherworks slip and a um, Jack Wolf Knives Feel Good Jack in my side pocket. Absolutely love this knife. This is uh, probably their best knife in my opinion. I love it to death. It's one of my favorites of all time. I love this Lehman Cello Camo Carbon. The action on this walk and talk is just absolutely phenomenal. I do actually have right here the newest uh, model. I'll be unboxing that, so stay tuned. And I also have a package from Lancelot Leather for some new coin slips. Now, you guys might want to check this out now. We can check it out because the other item that I have, uh, let's see, it's some kind of receipt. I think it was 45 bucks for both of these. And I wanted to get coin slips for my NJT hand power coin. So this is the mini mount. This is the little guy. Love it. And there's a full size. I don't have one here, but I asked for slips for both of those. So he was able to make those. We'll see how they came out. We got black leather, sorry, uh, black stitching. Um, he uses top grain leather, whatever it's called, the high quality stuff. So it's just a little coin purse type thing basically for it. Um, and let's see how that fits in. I sent him measurements, so that's it. That's all he was working off of. He didn't have the physical product, um, but I think he's made a lot of coin slips at this point. Now these are a little different because they're not thin coins, right? They're thicker. Um, and that's gonna be a difference here, I think. So there you go, it fits right in there. And you can see it is keeping the mouth of this open. But I think that's fine because I'm going to pinch and pull. And that's how I'm going to get this guy out, I hope. Well, there we go. Um, it should get easier as we go. You can also probably fold down the flaps. But I would just pinch and pull it out. And we'd be good to go. So we're going to put this in. And the best thing I find with new slips, anything like that, is I just put it in my pocket. Um, you know, I try not to take it out 
Um, I'll just carry it for like a day in my pocket um, then let it kind of form in there. This uh, is pretty loosey type leather. It's not stiff like, um, you know, like this ghost leather. So it should probably uh, not need a lot of forming or anything. It'll probably just do whatever. Um, but yeah, so it's in there. And as long as it stays in there, that's the key. The, the problem is when you get ones where they fall out and oh, it slid a little bit, but it didn't come out. So I'm guessing it's not gonna like easily come out of my uh, slip in my pocket. So I'm gonna put this in the pocket and then we have a bigger one here for the larger NJT coin. I wonder how that's gonna work because um, it's gonna be a big, it's gonna be fatter. Uh, so we'll see, but uh, they look great. Check out Lancelot Leather. You can check him out at uh, edcroundtable.com, uh, I believe. And uh, there's lots of cool people on there, but Lancelot Leather is kind of the uh, Joe. It's kind of the mastermind behind EDC Round Table with uh, said Stevie. And uh, they got some cool stuff, and he does some great leather work. He's made some mats for me. Um, I have a valet tray that I'm actually, uh, I kind of, it was, it was like on my dresser for a long time, but it was kind of just holding shit. And I just, I have no space in this house, right? So now that we cleaned everything and we're kind of like throw, we're getting rid of stuff, pulling it out of the room for showings. I'm kind of, I have it set up now with the little valet tray on my nightstand I'm going to use. And then hopefully when we get to the new house, I can just use that. Um, and I have this cool, uh, Caviso, uh, valet box thing. And I have a cool home in Hatfield knife case thing that can't use any of it because I just don't have space. Uh, so now I'll be able to hopefully display all that stuff and just have access to my shit, you know? That would be nice. So anyway, uh, there's the slip, really cool. And uh, did we hit everything? I mean, there was the fidget. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Keys, has anything changed? No, uh, the only thing I would point out is the, the JRW Tough Clip that I've showed before or cash clip, whichever one you get, it's the best uh, carabiner type thing for your keys ever. Um, because it's so thin and minimal that when it's not being used on your belt, it disappears. And that is very important. I hate having bulky like carabiners and shit all over the place. So anyway, if you're interested in the new Jack Wolf knife, stay tuned for the next video, whether that be tomorrow morning or Maybe in a couple hours, because uh, I'm about to unbox this bitch. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Truly love you all, and I will catch you later.